Hi Shivam, how are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Sir. How are you? Yes, sir, I'm fine, sir. Okay. I'm fine, sir. So you are uh, from computer science, Shivam? Yes, sir. I'm from computer science. And you just had interview in ISRO, right? Yeah. Actually, I, my interview was on 16th of March. Okay, great. So Shivam, can we go for a detailed discussion and about your interview experience? Yes, sir. We can go. Okay, on. great, great. So, Shivam, all I know is that you are from computer science and you had your interview in ISRO. I would like to know more about you. Uh, so, please tell us uh, about your background. When did you graduate? From here, graduated, and what was your gate journey? If you have written gate and all, and then we come to ISRO journey. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, I have completed my B Tech in computer science in IT branch uh, in two thousand nineteen. From Raj Engineering College, Bijnor, and after that, I have prepared for GATE for one year, in which uh, I have secured uh, All India rank of 151 mm-hmm. with a GATE score of 826. Mm-hmm. And currently, I am studying M Tech. I am from ISC Bangalore. Mm-hmm. I am currently in second semester mm-hmm. in the CSA department. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, yeah, that's all. Okay. And Shivam, uh, this year uh, uh, when you scored this 800 plus GATE score, you must be having many other options. Like uh, you chose IC Bangalore only in computer science. So uh, were you exploring other options also, or this is what you wanted with GATE score? Uh, yeah, the main uh, my main uh, motto was to get some PSU actually, but uh, because of this COVID, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the things are very late. No, every Mm-hmm. not uh, like i have also selected in i have also been selected in cil uh, okay. recently okay so everything is bit bit late so i have to join mtech uh, because okay so which which uh, psus uh, you can join as computer engineer so what are the various psus uh, available for you you said coal india so can you tell me some more number of uh, psus yeah yeah posoko is one of them but uh, actually i missed the form because the form was on open only for 10 or 215 days after gate 2020 in the month of march so yeah it was uh, i didn't notice and there was no notification from uh, anyone like that it was my fault that i missed that form but it is it's a good good psu power corporation posoko uh, it uh, offers job for computer science and electrical only two branches okay. and then there is other psu uh, bis Bureau of Indian Standards. Yes, I also did not apply for them. I could have been shortlisted for the interview because it was only for GATE score, and I think I was past the GATE score. But I did not fill that also because I was uh, focusing only on uh, like uh, ISRO or good PSUs. Like BIS is also good, but uh, yes. So this one is Posoko, BIS, ISRO, Coal India. and iocl is also there but all iocl recruits alt in alternate years like it was recruited in 2019 then it it will recruit in 2021 2021 not 2020 so it, like that alternate year and currently yes i am also waiting for ongc mm-hmm. uh, the advertisement they given the advertisement that they will recruit through gate 2020 for programming officer that is uh, computer science branch for and i think they will uh, soon give the link because okay. some students some friends of mine uh, that uh, they apply for iti na so they replied that this will not cancel the advertisement will remain and they will soon release so i'm waiting for ngc also okay uh, so shivam tell me like uh, if i come to uh, isro So, what kind of exam is ISRO, and how it is different from GATE exam, and what is the cutoff uh, for ISRO? Yes. So, uh, ISRO is quite different from GATE, and uh, like uh, GATE exam is of three hours, and now ISRO is around I think one one and half hour, and there were hundred questions, each of two marks, and the Uh, two third was negative marking and the question level was almost same with the gate so it is little bit tough but uh, there were no aptitude and no uh, math questions only base uh, core questions most of them 
so in my computer science the uh, mostly questions from uh, computer organization computer networks and uh, digital logic and uh, yeah i think that question was uh, paper was pretty tough because last year paper 218 paper the cut off and this year the cut off was 97 the marks uh, i was getting only around 100 100 co- number so i was thinking uh, i am not getting uh, i will not uh, qualify but surprisingly the uh, i think the paper was tough and i was qualified by two or three marks <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. i was just part of the cut off score okay mm-hmm. so so uh, shivam now if we come to e- interview part so uh, tell me uh, tell us about in detail about your interview so what kind of questions were asked how many scientists were sitting mm-hmm. there and how was it all done so yeah so my interview center was lucknow telemetry center is track so when i went there uh, yeah there was very good surroundings and i was just sitting in front of the that uh, station satellite center no which uh, which satellite uh, let me yeah uh, uh, it was very good place to sit like i can see the lab their computer labs were there software development lab mostly the people sitting there are working uh, which like computer jobs so yeah it was very spanning there to go and i was expecting a pers- like a physical interview but that was a virtual interview i went and there was a empty room and a big screen and a mic uh, and i have to go there and remove my mask and just sit and there was a big screen in which various panels are sitting there i think most of the panels are sitting alone like only them uh, two or three panels are there which are sitting in groups like two or three people so i think the main chairman uh, the main person was sitting in middle mm-hmm. and he was like two or three persons were there and he started questions and several four to five panels are also there and so when i went there i removed my mask then they asked the first question can i start with the questions mm-hmm. yeah so the qu- first question was uh, briefly tell us about your educational background and what are you doing and what are your favorite subjects so actually the uh, this all duration was 25 minutes my interview went for 25 minutes and the first question is was this i tell about the time currently in i see and there were there were no hr questions like why you want to join isro uh, why from i'm MT- leave i'm tech and all that mm-hmm. they directly go to that favorite subjects part but yes one question the first question was uh, from my cv which i have submitted na uh, so they ask in your cv you have written that btech project you have mentioned iot internet of things mm-hmm. so can you tell me about iot mm-hmm. so sincerely i was not very prepared for it i know what is iot but i was not very prepared in deep for this question but i have i told them about iot uh, i have also given i also gave a practical example of iot then they asked they were satisfied but they asked what, uh, do you know about protocol of iot iot what are the protocols using so it is little bit of and i did not knew the answer so i started thinking and they were just smiling all of them and i so i little pumbled there because i did not knew uh, i think i should have said that i did not knew but i said some uh, there were wifi protocols and this so they said okay okay let's move to uh, subjects part so then the question was transferred to other panel in which a lady was sitting so she started uh, asking from data structure one of the favorite subjects so i mentioned around five subjects so they only uh, asked from two subjects mm-hmm. and we, i i have got a feedback from students coming out that uh, they were asking from one subject which you have not mentioned mm-hmm. so be prepared for it so that's why i mentioned uh, around i mentioned around five subjects but i also prepared one of the subject that is software engineering but i did not mention that subject so data structure they ask very basic questions that like what is data structure and then what is the need of data structure so should i also tell the answer 
if you know you can tell because that will help the yeah, yeah. okay so i said uh, data structure is like a, um, way of uh, efficient way of storing and accessing data this is a f- basic question in the basic question so then they ask okay then what is the need of data structure then so in this they are basically asking the applications so i told them that they are for storing this said no no you have to give applications so i gave some practical applications like in uh, depth first search best first search which are used in gps for navigation so data structure used in uh, dicaster algorithms uh, which is uh, like i told them about some various applications and then they were satisfied then the next question was the difference between linked list and array so uh, i i give this also correct answer that uh, linked list the uh, sequential access array random access and two and three more points uh, very basic very basic points and uh, then they asked so in every subject they asked a practical question so in this they asked a practical question like give a situation like there are two devices and they both are transmitting the data at different rates so which data structure will you use so i was thinking but uh, i i was like i just not click this question this answer is very easy uh, it is a computer networks part uh, the answer is q q is a data structure which, which is used so but I, i was thinking but they did not they were a bit of hurry but uh, like Uh, they were not giving much time or hints to uh, think or to let you reach to the answer it was fast uh, so but they asked then i have not sir i was thinking then they moved to the next panel so the next panel the, the lady started a uh, round question operating system so the again basic questions only what is operating system basic at the basic question like uh, so i told them our operating system is a uh, interface between user application and hardware okay this is a, and then they asked what is device driver what are their use and uh, basic simple simple question and what uh, which operating system you are using so i said i am using windows uh, what is the latest version of windows i said windows 10 and then difference between process and program i tell her program is a set of instructions and process is a uh, program in execution when we load program in memory then it is a process and then again they ask what is posix so i have never heard of them uh, it what is posix so i uh, take some 5 seconds and then said uh, sorry ma'am i don't know this and okay so operating system so actually posix is platform independent unix operating system which i, I look up later but uh, yeah then uh, again a panel a third panel they ask uh, okay so this subject i have not mentioned so they ask that do you know about software engineering uh, so i said uh, i said yes uh, yes ma'am i have uh, studied in my btech it was in my btech curriculum but uh, yeah i i think i know so okay. so she said okay can you tell me about some type of testings used in software development so said, yes um, so i named various testing regression testing black box white box and uh, modular regression so she said okay difference so she uh, she asked difference between black box and white box white box so i said yeah i clearly said that if you don't know the implementation so we only want to uh, check the quality then we use black box if we don't know what is inside the code then we use black box if we know the coding then we use white box so again the practical question in this subject was given uh, that uh, she said that if you don't know about the code like like in black box still you want to <laughs> know the complexity something like that so what will you do so i i i knew this answer so i said that uh, uh, i will use different type of inputs and see the time taken by them so i this can be applied 
so yes and the last uh, last question uh, that lady again said so she said uh, you fumbled around that uh, you said something about wi- wifi in the iot protocol so tell me about wifi mm-hmm. uh, actually uh, i know about wifi but uh, so i was again thinking uh, so i was i just said the full form wireless fidelity this is the full form and then she started smiling she said okay okay i only want to know the uh, do you know the full form or not i i, I started saying like wireless fidelity is uh, so we said okay okay you know about what so j- she just want to know about the full form of wifi uh, then again interview was over okay you can go so i think i missed three questions one from data structure that practical question mm-hmm. one from operating system what is port 6 and one question is this iot protocol which they asked overall yeah, i think i answered most of them shivam mere ko bhi aisa lagta hai ki aapka kafi acha gaya hai interview and we can mm-hmm. expect a result here so just wait for the result let's see how it goes and you said you have also got selected into <coughs> code india right yes sir to uske joining kab aa rahi hai wo aa chuki hai shayad joining nahi sir wo aayi hai abhi select karna tha select teen subsidiary ke naam batana tha to wo maine दे दिया एक दिन मैंने आपको कॉल भी किया था तो शायद आप पिक नहीं कर पाए होंगे वही मुझे थोड़ा कंफ्यूजन था कि कौन सी सब्सिडी भरी जाए तो मैंने पहले नंबर पे एनसीएल डाल दी है सिंगरौली जो मध्य प्रदेश बॉर्डर पे है एक्चुअली मेरे घर से पास है यहाँ से 200 हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पे है इसलिए बाकी मैंने दोनों दो रांची भरी है रांची सी जो कॉलेज है कॉल माइंड प्लानिंग एंड डिजाइन इंस्टीट्यूट और एक है थर्ड पे मैंने डाला था छत्तीसगढ़ में है बिलासपुर में एसीसीएल साउथ ईस्टर्न कोल फील्ड यानी हो आप शिवम ये ठीक डाला आपने आप वेट करना मेरे को लगता है इसरो हो जाएगा एंड देन वी शुड टारगेट फॉर आई सर ऑब्वियसली वही मैं सोचा था क्योंकि उसमें 5 साल का बॉन्ड भी है कोल इंडिया में और जो पोस्ट है वो भी मतलब ठीक है ऐसे मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग की है थोड़ा कोर का काम नहीं होता है हम लोग का वहां पे कोल की है ब्रांच तो हम लोग का जो काम होता है वहां पे हम लोग को हेड क्वार्टर में बैठ के थोड़ा बहुत सर्वर वर्वर देखना पड़ता है ज्यादा कुछ काम नहीं मेनली मगर जो इसरो में हम लोग का अच्छा काम है और पोस्ट भी साइंटिस्ट की है सो आई एम एमिंग फॉर दैट ओनली अभी आपका कौन सा सेमेस्टर चल रहा है आईएससी में आई थिंक सेकंड सेमेस्टर भी आधा हो गया लगभग मिड mm-hmm. सेमेस्टर चल रहे थे मेरे चलो शिवम देन होप फॉर द बेस्ट एंड शेयर विद मी योर गुड न्यूज़ ऑफ सिलेक्शन लेटर ऑन आई एम वेरी श्योर चलो थैंक्स शिवम